Go back to 442. Was that me in the background? Hold on. God damn it. I was in this video. That is 110% me. I can tell by the shoes. Oh my God. Why do I look so tall? Because I am tall. I'm five foot 10. I'm not that short. <sighs> Hi, how are you? My name's Beta, and today we'll be continuing the non-furries invading furry convention series. I really love doing these videos, even though it's just a reaction to someone else's reaction to furries. Welcome to YouTube. But I love highlighting people's good experiences at furry conventions, especially non-furries who might not have the best opinion on them to begin with. Y'all seem to really love that first video I did going over Mr. Crunch's first experience at a furry convention where he interviewed furries, and first time being there, had a great time. Wow, shocker, I know. But also thank you guys for showing love to Mr. Crunches for the video he made in the first place. Really means a lot. But I want to keep doing this where we go over people's first times being at furry conventions who aren't necessarily furries, whether they're normies or non-furries, whatever the real word is. After going over Mr. Crunch's video, I immediately got recommended by you guys to go over Strange Ion's video called We Infiltrated a Furry Convention and Had a Great Time. See, look at that. They even say it in the title and everything sounds endearing. I'm not going to get debated here. This is great. In all honesty, I've never heard of Strange Islands before, but I'm a big fan of their content now. I love the vibes they give off, the humor, all of it. But I'm kind of disappointed because I'm only hearing about this video recently when it was uploaded three years ago. Kind of crazy because at the time it would have been groundbreaking to see non-furries going to a furry convention, not wishing to harass furries, but wishing to have a good time and having good things to say overall. It's, it's kind of weird to see, but cool. The furry convention they ended up going to was known as Fernal Equinox 29. 19, it's a Canadian convention. I was actually there and spoilers, I show up in their video, which again, I'm surprised I didn't learn about this sooner. But still, we went over the video on stream and I had some comments on a couple of the things that they said and their experiences overall. So if you enjoy this video, I know it goes without saying, but go and show some love and support to Strange Ions, the original creator of the video we're reacting to. Granted, I don't think they need it from me necessarily, but still, I love just showing support to those that highlight the community in a good way. So go and support Strange Ions if you haven't already. But yeah, that's about gonna do it for me. Have a good one, guys. We accepted candy from furries. It's delicious. You think we're gonna die? No. They I think very, we've been blessed. They were very nice. I don't they think were we're very gonna nice. die. Hi. Hello. It's good to see you. It's Hello. Been a while. School. I perfect. love your shirt. My ass. That's that's really all there is to it. I still love making videos. You can still expect lots of spicy. I'm sorry to hear about school. In April, but I, Tia, redacted, went to a furry convention. Now this immediately raises the question: Am I a furry? No. There, he, there you go. I'm glad we got it over with. Oh, you can go to a furry convention without being a furry. That's pretty neat. No, I am not a furry. I just have a certain enthusiasm for questionable internet subcultures. And for the first time ever... You're not wrong. I not wrong. to take it to the real world. She's off to her first day of school. We're trying to figure out how to register. <laughs> You're on long. the right track. That is where registration is. It was a Friday. Disgusting Toronto weather. Hey! Yeah, I would have otherwise spent cry typing a 3,000 word essay about Titus Andronicus. But no, 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 no not today. We <laughs> okay, that, that is, who is this? They are fucking funny. <laughs> that, they are hilarious. Oh my god, how is this like the, the second time I've only like ever heard of them? Oh man, this is awesome. <laughs> Titus Andronicus. Oh, that's that's great. The hotel, which contains said furry convention. And almost immediately I hear strange eons, and I'm like, yes, hello, that's me. <laughs> that's the name on my birth certificate. We met a few lovely subscribers who kind of helped us get our bearings, because we had just, just walked into this furry convention completely blind, no yeah. idea how to sign up, where we had to pay, if we had to pay. Yeah, that's the thing. That That's like the issue that we talked about with like the first video, remember? We had uh, Mr. Crunches who showed up at a furry convention, didn't know anything about it, where to even start, you know, and registered and whatnot. You're going to have a tough time if you're going by yourself, you don't know what's going on, you don't know where to go or what you're doing or people to meet up with or people to say hi to. Meanwhile, even though, you know, it was more so a fan interaction here, Strange Islands had like a good direction of where to go and what to do. So like, obviously the experience here is going to be a bit more, you know, I'm not saying that, you know, again, Mr. Crunch's experience here wasn't great. He had a good experience and a good time. But, like, Strange Giants probably will have a more fully fleshed out experience with regards to a furry fandom or furry convention, sorry. So it's kind of neat to see. I like this. I'm liking it. What was going on? How do I explain myself? <laughs> I 
I'm working you don't. at a torso. You're already here. You are a torso. I thought you were going to say a tourist. You're at a furry convention. I, There's I nothing to explain. I feel like a tourist, even though I live here. Um, this is a whole oh. new world. I rarely film anything in public. I'm surprised that nobody is staring at us because we're filming. We're at a furry convention. I know. That's, <laughs> but yeah, that's the thing. We have weird ones here. I feel like I. <laughs> I love it. They're, I feel like throughout the video, they're going to be like, we're still at a furry convention. Like, 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 they just can't even, like, come to terms that they're here. I know furries are more of, like, I don't want to say it in the sense of, like, normalized, but I guess mainstream thing. Where, like, you can go to a furry convention local to your area and just, like, kind of show up and see what's going on with it. But, like. <laughs> It's still profound to a point where it's like, yep, we're at a furry convention. We're here. <laughs> like, like even I, I, ha I do this as like my job. Like furry fandom, like as it is, is kind of my job as like a content creator. I've been to like at least 20 different conventions and I showed up at MFF. I'm like, I'm at a furry convention. I'm 24 years old and this is what I'm doing with my life. Whoa. <laughs> like it's still crazy to think about. It's fun and there's nothing wrong with it, but just the, the reality of it is still setting in like many years later stand out in a room full of furries that's the lesson we've learned so far today so <laughs> <laughs> this morning i was dm'd by a subscriber who told me there's a furry convention going on in toronto you should go check it out at the moment we the Aww. registration is down so we are waiting to register eager okay eager i really i don't want to be that obnoxious disrespectful youtuber i'm very i'm really trying my best the convention we went to see that's the thing you can already tell, like, the tone of what they want this video to be. They very much want to be respectful and want to learn more about the community to see what's going on there. So yeah, you know what? Props. It was called Fernal Equinox. Be... This was the brochure with all oh. of the events. Oh, things. oh, it was this year. Wait, hold on. Was it this year? Or was that the art from, was it this year that they went? Oh, it was the same year I was there. I was actually at this Fernal Equinox. I didn't realize that this was like an older video. I thought this was last year. Yeah, I did a, I, I did a con vlog here uh, of this con. But yeah, I ended up going to this con in 2019. My first and only time being at Fernal Equinox. I thought this was just, a, I thought this was this last year or something. I had a breakdown. We, were, we only stayed for Friday. It was only like $25 just to go for one day, which was pretty good. <laughs> I remember when furry conventions were that cheap. <laughs> Meanwhile, me crying in my $80 further confusion badge. <laughs> but yeah. That's my little pass that they gave yeah, me. So they got so a so yeah, it was Friday graduation pass. themed, which I don't know why, but I guess there are worse themes. There are also far better themes, but. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna help her watch that. Oh my God. Right. You graduated from <laughs> what? It was kind of funny though. I was, I think both of us were in school at the same time. I, I was a junior in college. Seeing the graduation theme was kind of like a, a kick in the nuts. I'm like, wow, I graduated. If fucking only <laughs> I'm still in school and I, I'm literally like skipping time from like a senior thesis or like a project that I have in order to go to this convention. What a kick in the nuts. <laughs> I got my undergrad We're in... gonna come out of this being furries. <laughs> Honestly? Keep on the lookout for me, potentially. It was really small compared to a lot of the ones that happen in America, but, you know, oh. that's expected. That's just how things tend to be in Canada, so... Even though Canada's bigger. There's Dolby! I love Dolby! Work, work, who is That's someone she? I recognize. She's a friend of mine. <laughs> An absolute Model. sweetheart. Fur science. Huh. Your fandom, your science. Oh. People focus on what they saw on the internet, but there's so many thousands of fairies that really, like, you're gonna get weirdos, you're gonna get normal people, you're gonna get awesome yeah. people, and yes. it's gonna be in the same amounts as in everything else. Yeah. Like, you're gonna get, you're gonna get, like, people like this and like those guys over there and they're just gonna be they're way more cool people and most of the time they just do cool shit and have fun yeah. and that's all French that accent happens. I love it and that's really what I've noticed here is everyone's yeah. just living their best life yes. just being completely unapologetically themselves just yeah. putting it all out there and it's, it's so refreshing it's exactly what I love about so the internet and so it's like that has come to life and yes. it's
That is fucking endearing. I, I love that. That is super, super sweet that they added some, like, commentary over that. Thank you. What? Wow. Go back to 442. Was that me in the background? Hold on. That was fucking me. God damn it. I was in this video. That is 110% me. I can tell by the shoes. The fucking shoes. Oh my god. Who was I talking to? Oh, I remember. I remember who I was talking to. That was fucking me! That was me! Why do I look so tall? Because I am tall! I'm five foot ten! I'm not that short! <sighs> See, this was the era where I wore nothing but, like, black shoes with, like, golden stripes on it. My god. That is 110% me. How do you, How is this only three years later that someone recognizes this? And you know what's funny about this? I'm not even filming here. <laughs> I'm just- I'm just interacting with friends. <laughs> Yeah, I know, the, the, the Camp Howl werewolf hoodie is just a dead giveaway. As much as other people wear it, like, I feel like people associate it a lot with me. I don't know why. I knew that it was me, though, minus the hoodie, because of the shoes. And I think the haircut, too. Like, I had a really weird haircut back then, but it was mainly the shoes. So, uh, so yeah. That was, that was, there I was. Is this video uh, but fair. a defense of furries? Yes and no. No, because I spent one day at a convention. I don't consider myself nearly experienced or knowledgeable enough about this community to have an in-depth debate and like truly for this to be a comprehensive defense of them but also yes because i think that the amount of hate furries get online is disproportionate to the amount of actual problematic things that come out of that community there is a not safe for work thank you furry. someone who fucking says it my god see they put it into better words than i ever could and i am a furry <laughs> This isn't factual, but I'd like to argue that we are still probably the most fa the most made fun of uh, community in terms of, like, geek culture. Or, like, fandom online. Uh, they were about to start talking about the uh, NSFW portion, which I'm curious to see what their take is. Community. Everyone kind of knows this. If anything, a lot of people are surprised to know that there's a part of it that isn't fetish-related. But for me, like, we didn't see much of that at the convention, honestly. The vast majority of what we saw was completely wholesome. It doesn't strike me as any more dangerous of a place than most fandoms. What I'm saying is yeah. there are problematic people. There have been problematic instances in the furry community. And yes. go ahead and criticize those things because they should be criticized. But don't hate a subculture just because you think it's icky and weird. Do Convention spell, horror story tea? sounds fun. New yes. furs. This is advice and anecdotes. We can become furries. I mean, I wanted to buy Good. a tail. They sound like, you do it, live your dreams. I mean, I it's just the gateway drug. Wanting a tail, getting a tail. I remember my first furry convention. I was like, you know what? Maybe I should get a tail. You know, one with like, uh, that, like as like a belt or whatnot that I can just put around my waist and it looks all cutesy. You know, I would love to have a tail. It's always the gateway drug. Just having a tail, starting with the tail. It doesn't go with my outfit. <laughs> That's how they get you every time. Of course, in convention running, that could be fun. <laughs> hmm. I'm not interested in running any conventions Are you anytime sure? soon. A furry convention. It's like the furry convention. I would love that. <laughs> I would totally attend a furby convention. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Sign me the fuck up. I know nothing about furbies, but you know. It's like the furry convention. We're almost I done. This is that. I am loving this video. <laughs> I love the zoom in too. I am loving this video. When the coffee shop is closed, you have to resort to looking like a twelve year old boy. Mm. What have we learned so far today? To be fair, though, so coffee is hard to find. <laughs> so your, your persona is a Furby. Yeah. Mine would be very dapper. Oh. Yours would be a Oh. Dragon. Oh. So I didn't recognize the Furby. Jesus Christ. Okay. I want to play board games. Oh, I also want to talk to the guy in the suit. Mm. You should go. You can just ask. I've seen people they are like, just casually ask people for pictures because they like their costumes. Like you. Can this is the most involved I've seen any sort of non-furry involve themselves in, like, a furry convention. It's so endearing and, and very bewildering to see, too. Like, seeing their friend be like, I want to talk to that fursuiter, I want to play board games, I want to go around and do this and that. Like, most people don't know what they're doing at a con. And usually you can just, like, wing it, for that matter. This is wholesome! As much as I want to say, like, oh, the, the seeds have been planted for them being furries. They just want to have a good time. It really is wholesome. This is just Can't. an all-around a great I'll take the picture. Honestly, I just... I love seeing people be so unapologetically themselves and so confident in their strangeness and their niche interest. It's just, it's every, it's like going to a weird part of the internet in real life is what it felt like. And it was everything I yes. love about how 
unfiltered and real and strange people are online, but multiplied by a hundred. So this I'm is so say, great I went to, to a see. convention and I had a great time. It was really fun. <laughs> this experience did not make me a furry, but Fair. It definitely made furries a lot more normal in my eyes and that's and cool the experience that i want to share with you through this video um i have an Hell yeah. perk. still this video was awesome holy shit that was this is so so heartwarming this has to be in my opinion one of the best like non-furry furry convention videos i have seen and i say non-furry in the sense that like you know people go into a convention experiencing it for the first time or going there with the intention of learning about it and, and like i know i talk about it time and time again i'm just gonna repeat it once again the experience that you have at a convention whether furry or not is all on you you take the experience that you go for if you go into it with an optimistic sense and go and have fun and you want to have fun then you're gonna have fun if you go into it you know wanting to cause trouble and then you're gonna probably have a bad time and people might not take too kindly to that of trying to disrupt the flow or the enjoyment that people are having at that convention you know so honestly thank you for sending me this video i didn't know it existed and i also didn't know i existed in the video so yeah